graduated college, um, I, I like reconnected with one of my good high school friends and we founded Ambo Studios. We kind of saw an, op an opportunity to create experiential work, merging our different passions and skill sets to create in these, these interactive experiences. So this project was our first project titled Oasis. It's a kind of temporary pop-up amphitheater and an interactive space on its own. And this was pitched to music festivals and th these sort of bigger live event pieces. And so the form itself is basically just a circle. And then if you're to take that in plan view, cut that in half, and those, those, those arcs are then rotated around, that's pretty much the form. And then we kind of carved out an oculus in the center to kind of draw people in. And, and so this, the, the form, it's very kind of reminiscent of more classical architecture in some ways. Like we kind of made an abstraction of a pendentive in a lot of ways. And the oculus was something that I've always been kind of fascinated with. And we incorporated this into the design for practical reasons as well as we to sort of be the sort of central location point. We were pitching this to music festivals and really we really wanted to create a space that could hold lots of different people, but avoid making another big tent at a place that's filled with tents. And so it's to sort of carve the center out, allowed us to make a very light portable structure. And sort of the, the, the way that there's a gap in between the two back projection wings, we did that so we could do like we avoided more complicated projection mapping and we would we were able to sort of set this thing up within like an hour and a half and another kind of classical reference is the architect Bernini when he was coming up with his ideas for the form of the Vatican colonnades he used this analogy of this of a sort of human holding and inviting people into the space and I think our this, this space was trying to do a very sim similar sort of thing where it's inviting and it calls people into it. And we wanted it so you could kind of see the projection mapping and the content on it without actually having to be inside that, the, the space. Yet this sort of Oculus became this kind of magnet that you would go into.